figures were released with the latest numbers of COVID spread. Let's talk to Thomas Moore, who can bring us more. Thomas. Yeah, these are the, the latest statistics from the NHS test and trace system. Uh, and they show that in, in the week uh, up to the 16th of September, there were 19,278 people who were testing positive. That's three times as many as at the end of August and just underlines the explosive growth uh, of the coronavirus as we flipped over the calendar uh, into September. It really did uh, go up very sharply indeed. And that's also reflected in the, the proportion of people who are testing positive now that's also going up and it just reflects that this is a real increase in the virus it's not an artifact of testing which is what many scientists had been saying over the summer this is something that really is something to be concerned about the numbers also uh, show that uh, nhs test and trace is still struggling to keep up with demand and perhaps the most alarming figure on that is that uh, in that week only 28 percent of in-person test results were returned in 24 hours. And speed is everything when you're trying to stay ahead of the virus. The week before, it was 33%. So it's decreasing. That really is in trouble. And another measure of just how much uh, it is in trouble, the proportion of people um, uh, who were reached through the contact tracing, that's the second part, if you like, if you, you need to find out who has been in, in contact with these positive cases. Uh, well, that was uh, just under 77.7%. Uh, 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 that's down from 84% the week before. So this backlog of cases uh, in laboratories is beginning to have an impact on the whole system. Uh, and that will mean that fewer contacts are able to be reached in time to make sure they're properly quarantining and reducing the risk to us all.